No more witchy sigils. Agatha all along finally reveals the mystery behind Joe Locke's teen. Five episodes into the season, the Coven arrives at their third trial along the Witch's Road, a Ouija-themed challenge involving ghosts and possession that results in Catherine Hahn's Agatha Harkness killing Alice, Ollie on, by absorbing her magic. In the heated aftermath, when Teen confronts Agatha about their latest casualty, she's able to learn more about her pet and utters, You're so much like your mother. To that, an enraged teen reveals he isn't as powerless as he originally appeared. He mind controls Lilia, Patty Lapone, and Jen, Sashir Zamada, to drown Agatha in the sinking mud before blasting them in the mud as well. The final shot of the episode shows a blue crown materialize on his head, one that maintains a striking resemblance to the scarlet crown once donned by Elizabeth Olsen's Wanda Maximoff. Then we get a telling needle drop as the credits start to roll. You Should See Me in a Crown, which is a Billie Eilish song. Emphasis on Billie. It seems to be one of those worst-kept secrets. Marvel fans early on presumed that Teen was really Billie, Wanda's son, and leaks from Agatha all along supported that theory. It's a similar situation Han found herself in with WandaVision. When she debuted as nosy neighbor Agnes, the fandom felt a strong hunch that she was really the witch Agatha Harkness a reveal that came paired with a now chart-topping, Emmy-winning song. Still, as showrunner Jack Schaefer previously told Entertainment Weekly of all the teen theories, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's about how we peel back the layers, she said. It's our job to make the reveals exciting and satisfying. Now when I see the theories, I still get a little nervous, but I have the experience of WandaVision, a voice in my head that's like, well, no one knows the how. We're finally at a point in the series where we're getting that how. The Billy of Marvel Comics. The lore surrounding Billy Kaplan in Marvel Comics is a bit of a head-scratcher if you think about it too hard. On the surface, the backstory looks simple. Billy was born to parents Jeff and Rebecca Kaplan. He was bullied in school for being gay. But one day, he had a chance encounter with the Scarlet Witch, who encouraged the boy to stand up for himself. Billy did just that, but fighting back unlocked the teen's immense magical powers and nearly killed his aggressor. Here's the complicated part. Billy is the living reincarnation of the Scarlet Witch's son, one of the twins that Wanda Maximoff magically creates in the comics, along with his brother Tommy. The children were unmade when the demon Mephisto, another character fans are hoping to see on Agatha all along, revealed they were merely an extension of his own energy, before reabsorbing the kids back into himself. That's what we mean by a head-scratcher. Both of her sons would were reincarnated, with Billy becoming an immensely strong magic wielder, like his mother. Taking the name Wiccan, he joins the super team known as the Young Avengers and enjoys a long-lasting romantic relationship with a member of their ranks, the shape-shifting Skrull strongman Teddy Altman, a.k.a. Hulkling, the Billy of the MCU. As we've seen with past projects, the Marvel Cinematic Universe remixes comic book material to give audiences new stories. During WandaVision, we know that Wanda, Elizabeth Olsen, used her reality-altering powers to resurrect Vision, Paul Bettany, and plunge the entire town of Westview into a spell so that they could safely live out their lives, but in a world that mirrored Wanda's favorite television sitcoms. Part of that magic involved the creation of two children, Tommy, Jet Klein, developed super speed, which were the abilities of his late uncle, Pietro Aaron Taylor Johnson. His brother Billy, Julian Hilliard, then exhibited similar powers to his mother, though his magic appeared blue compared to Wanda's red. When the boys were 13, Wanda lifted the hex on Westview, which meant Vision, Tommy, and Billy all vanished along with it. Three years later, in the timeline of sequel series Agatha, all along, we meet Locke's teen. Wanda cursed Hans Agatha to live out her days, playing out her own distorted reality as Agnes, until a young goth horror enthusiast shows up to break the witch free with an incantation. We didn't know much about him, because someone cast a sigil, a protection spell of sorts that prevents Agatha from hearing any information the teen shares about himself. We were able to glean, however, that he was originally born in the neighboring town of Eastview. That specific wording feels intentional and that a lot happened to him at 13, the same age of the original Billy, when Wanda unmade him by lifting the hex. 
when Agatha didn't know his true identity. Teen claimed he wanted to traverse the witch's road to gain power. Now we have to wonder if his true intention is to resurrect his mom, Wanda, who supposedly died when the Darkhold Temple crashed on top of her and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Show us a body, damn it. Power just seems too easy of an answer when he can already allegedly break a spell cast on Agatha by the Scarlet Witch. Looking ahead to the Young Avengers, there is still a lot more to be learned about this teen, but the MCU continues to set up the introduction of the Young Avengers, a group of younger heroes, most of which are linked to a core member of the main Avengers team. The ending of 2023's The Marvel showed the young Kamala Khan, Iman Vellani, doing her best Nick Fury impersonation to recruit Hawkeye protege Kate Bishop, Haley Steinfeld, to join a new team of young superheroes. Prior to this, the MCU introduced a number of characters who just so happened to be members of the Young Avengers in the comics. Elijah Richardson played Eli Bradley, the grandson of super soldier Isaiah Bradley, Carl Lumbly, in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier 2021. Jack Veal played the kid Loki variant in Loki 2021. Sochil Gomez played multiverse-hopping America Chavez and Doctor Strange in The Multiverse of Madness, 2022. Catherine Newton played size-altering Cassie Lang, Ant-Man's teenage daughter, in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, 2023. And now we have Locke as Billy slash Wiccan. We might also already have Teddy slash Hulkling. In Episode 2 of Agatha All Along, Billy gets a call from his boyf, and the contact photo on his phone's lock screen shows actor Miles Goodyear as Riley playing that role. Details on this character are still unknown, but a Hulkling reveal would at least line up with who Billy is dating in the comics. Agatha all along continues to roll out Wednesday nights on Disney+, and so do the theories.